Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Virgo for the week starting the 20th of August. Now this week, it's a week of highs and lows and intensities. Well, not necessarily. It's a week of challenges. It's a week of fearlessness. It's a week of facing ourselves on a very deep level. But also it's a week of triumphs and a week of revelation and a week of jubilation if we hang in there. It starts off with a rather tricky and challenging grand cross. Um, Cardinal Grand Cross, no less. And we have Venus for you in the 11th, squaring Moon in the 2nd, squaring Pluto in the 5th, squaring Uranus in the 8th. There may be intensity and jealousy and power struggles when it comes to your relationships and friendships. But you have to ask yourselves, what is my responsibility in this situation? Where am I coming from? What am I doing to allow this pattern or to facilitate this pattern coming into my life? How can I change my vibration so that this pattern doesn't keep repeating? It's likely to be something that you've experienced before because it's here to allow you to transform that part of your soul, to free that energy once and for all so that you can move forward. So really examine anything that's going on that makes you uncomfortable in terms of relationships, lust, passion, obsession, friendships this week. Now on the 23rd, hooray, the sun goes into your sign. It's your very own astrological new year. You're like, ba bum bum bum. Here it is, baby, it's my time. And you get a real injection of energy in those fabulous batteries of yours. Now, Mars enters the, the third on the 24th, so you're communicating really well. You're excited about communicating. You're, you have it in your, the passion to communicate. And let us not forget, you are born to communicate. And then we have the amazing grand fire trine at the end of the week on the 25th with Uranus in the 8th, trining Mercury in the 12th, trining Moon in the 4th. You're sorting something out. You're discovering the power and the freedom of being able to be obsessed. Possibly you're turning your obsession or your desires into something very healthy rather than something that you feel guilty about. You're also able to come in in some way to your spirituality if you write or communicate in any way. You're able to do it from the depth of your being and your soul. It's a time where you can communicate to yourself and others from really what's going on at the depth of your being. You're free to express yourself. Take care, have a stunning time, I'll speak to you soon.